everybody, I'm Amos, and this stripped down little vibe canister is the Dark Glass Electronics Vintage Microtubes. What we've got here is a straight ahead stripped down stomp box designed to add some tube colored saturation to the range of dark glass based distortions. Now, this pedal is the archetype of the entire vintage line of gear, and it's designed to have a broader application than just raging bass distortion. And of course, if you see dark glass bass distortion and immediately think bone crushing metal, you wouldn't be entirely wrong, but the whole vintage line is designed around a more tube driven saturation sound and that means it has a lot of usefulness across plenty of different contexts. All right, so let's take a closer look. It only has four knobs and even I can only talk about something like that so long. Okay, drive sets how much drive there is and honestly, I'm just running out of different ways to say this. The level knob controls the volume of the driven signal only, a pretty common component of dark glass distortions. Blend mixes your clean and driven tones together as you might expect. The era knob is where the magic is on this one. It's sort of a tilting EQ slash high frequency roll off. Starting down here, you have warm, woolly, vintage, mid rangey sounds. And as you turn it clockwise, you get the high end coming back in, ending up with a full distortion with plenty of top end grind to it. Sound goes in here, comes out there. That's what the things do. Let's hear how the things sound.
tricks up its sleeve, and I mean that in a good way. Everything works pretty much like you'd expect it to, with the possible exception of the level knob, and the only even nod to an EQ on this pedal is the single era knob. One of the things that I've found this pedal does best, somewhat surprisingly, is as the always-on fattener. Tube warmth or tube saturation, whatever you want to call it, it just somehow subtly makes everything a little broader and fuller without making it much louder. One of those things that works with almost any genre, any bass, any player. Something that makes your sound a little bit better without coloring it or changing it too much. I wish I had a B15 for a direct side-by-side -side comparison, and I know this might be approaching sacrilege, but what this pedal is doing is a lot like what that legendary flip top has done for what is now a few generations of bassists. It's lending a very subtle drive that brings out some of the harmonic richness of the tone, and that, beyond EQ or compression, is something that can really help a bass just sit in a mix just right. It is, of course, also a great roaring stomp box for dramatic moments, and when you have drive and era turned up towards the extremes, it gets pretty wild. You can absolutely look at the relative knoblessness of this pedal as a strength or a weakness. On the upside, the manual is right there on the front, and it shouldn't take you long to find a tone that's working for you. On the other hand, if this drive isn't a good fit for your genre or your bass or your playstyle, there's not a whole lot you can do about it, but I would say that applies more if you're going to use this as a distortion. The, the sort of low-gain fatness that this thing does, I have a hard time thinking of a signal chain that that couldn't improve at least a little. So in this video, we've explored a lot of the lower-gain applications of this pedal. If you want to see it really go nuts, I recommend you go check out Patrick Hunter's breakdown of this pedal. I check out Patrick's channel all the time when I'm doing research for my own videos, and he has been super helpful and supportive as I've gotten my own channel going, so please go check out some of his content. I also think he wins for a person having the most fun doing this. Dark Glass is known for great high-end wild bass distortion, and this pedal can absolutely go there, for sure. It's nice to see them concentrate on something that's capable of delivering that low-gain fatness that's useful for blues, rock, punk, R&B, really almost anything. That is going to do it for the Dark Glass Vintage Microtubes. A very big thanks to everybody who has been liking and subscribing and generally validating my reason for doing this. If you're into what I'm doing over here, please come check me out over on Instagram. A lot of this content ends up on Instagram in nice little bite-sized chunks. And keep your eyes open for some upcoming specialness. Also, this is your channel, so if there's something you want to see, let me know. If there's some gear that you're interested in and an approach you'd like to know more about, let me know. I'm here for you. As usual, this has been the Dark Glass Vintage Microtubes. I've been Amos, you've been amazing. Now go play outside.